I almost don't want to make this video. But I feel like it's a confession. I woke up this morning and the first thing I did was reach for the phone and ask if they could extend my stay to a double zero. They were booked. I went down and I had breakfast, packed all my stuff. I couldn't get a shuttle <clears throat> until 11.30, free shuttle. I could have Ubered or something like that, but. So I uh, sat in my room and pushed the limits of my uh, checkout time, which was 11 a.m., waiting for the shuttle. And I went downstairs to turn in my keys, and uh, they said uh, there was a cancellation and they had a room after saying it was booked this morning. And I was like, hold on a second. I called my shuttle and told them to hold off. Then my daughter called. <clears throat> um... I wouldn't have gotten a start today till 12 p.m., which I was looking at far out would have meant I was going to like a seven mile shelter because that's the only one for a reasonable distance starting that late. So anyway, there was an availability and I made a command decision to take it and double zero. And then I talked to my daughter who passed her boards today. So I'm very proud of her. I love her. Congratulations. Um, so in my own head, in my own rationalizations, <sighs> I'm trying not to feel bad. I think two days of rest is, is like a weekend. I needed it mentally more than physically, but I think my physical I think my physical uh, state was affecting my mental state and probably vice versa. I was up late last night watching sad songs and texting friends that I haven't talked to in a while. And uh, I don't know, I just need, last time I double zeroed I felt so guilty that I pushed harder. So I think it's good for me. Uh, I feel a bit like a douche. Everybody's already, you know, it's getting kind of competitive out here. Everybody's like pushing mileage and and getting ahead of me and slack packing and having ultralight gear and I just can't keep up I'm not enjoying this enough to turn it into a uh, uh, survivor island fucking thing so it's actually nice to be here alone I was in a there's always a bubble but Last night there was a bunch of people here and we're they're all by the pool and and they all hang out together and I'm kind of like on my own, which I kind of like. I don't want to be going to Chinese buffets with 20 people and eating greasy food. I prefer to go to the high-end establishments and spend a little cash and uh, you know I really want to dig that inflation scene. I really want to I really want to. I really want to fall victim to inflation and spend a lot of money on uh, a two-inch pretzel that costs eight fifty. And actually, uh, the green leaf in town, quality meals. I didn't feel the inflation there. I had great meals there, great beers. Um, I felt it was reasonably priced. I didn't feel the inflation there, and I don't think the. Uh, uh, Basic City Brewery was a, a, an inflation thing. I thought it was a here's an eight fifty dollar two inch pretzel thing. So anyway, I'm out by the pool waiting for my room to be ready because they had to move me because it was booked and then they're not booked. So um, I actually hope to get in that pool in a bit after I settle in my room and unpack everything again. I'm tempted to leave it packed and keep my uh, sleeping bag compressed just because tomorrow anyway so tomorrow I get a nice 9 a.m. start so like tomorrow I could probably push you know more than 15 and it might have worked out just the same because I would have only done seven today with the late start I don't know 
I'm piling on the rationalizations here. All I know is I wasn't ready mentally. So this is my confession. Uh, chilling by the pool and letting everybody kick my ass on the trail. So real quickly, I had a bunch of comments about why I posted Super Tramp, that song, on my uh, last video. And how it wasn't a copyright strike. I'm not sure how YouTube works anymore. I pretty much just screen recorded something because I felt that song was uh, pertinent. Um, one comment was, why that song? Well, please tell me who I am. It's kind of like this guy soul searching and, you know, he's been through the system. He's done everything in life that was uh, expected of him and you know he's questioning you know it, it's a little bit of emo I mean but I like the emo stuff and that's 70s emo so you know Super Tramp the funny thing about Super Tramp is I really love their music but when you it's kind of like Oompa Loompa kind of like very uh, British like uh, Monty Python I, I don't know how to say it it's like you know, there's a very Oompa Loompa feel to it, uh, um, like a circus vibe. <laughs> but I love their music, don't get me wrong. And the lyrics are, most of their songs have pretty in-depth, soul-searching lyrics about, you know, questioning life and questioning relationships. So I posted that video because it's kind of like the theme of my hike. You know, please tell me who I am, tell me why I'm out here. Uh, but the other part is, why did I get a copyright strike? I'm not really sure. Um, I, all I know is I, I think they avoid the copyright strikes by uh, not monetizing your videos so you won't see any ads and I won't make any money of it but I don't give a shit about the money um, I felt it was an important message to kind of add to the last video so if, if you're questioning why I put that song and whether there's a copyright strike or whether there's you know why I did it I think I kind of just explained it but uh, yeah sometimes you just want to you know, share your emotions with the uh, your YouTube fans and kind of let them know where you're at in your life and what you're thinking. Sorry to be so heavy. Each of these slices were six bucks, which is a lot bigger than a pretzel. I should have just had one piece. I don't feel so good. I'm not even hungry. There's some kind of wedding in town. So after that pizza I had for lunch, I went back to the hotel room and passed out. It's a good thing I set the alarm because I probably would end up sleeping all night. So then I forced myself to go out for dinner and I didn't want to eat. And I ordered a crab cake sandwich because I thought it would be small. I ended up burying half of it under the chips to make it look like I ate it. I don't feel so good. I don't know where this day went. I spent it dreading going back to the trail tomorrow. So, 
I'm circumventing the wedding over there, going around the block, headed back to the hotel, and I'm gonna mope and pass out and sleep and drag my ass to the trail tomorrow. I wonder if I would climbed that ladder and jumped in, I could evaporate. I'm reminded of that movie, uh, I think it was called First Blood with, by Ram, with Rambo. He's coming back from Nam and he's not welcome in any city. And he's an outcast. And I guess a lot of people who serve in the military had that feeling. And I'm not trying to compare with being in the military, but I have that feeling too. It's like I haven't changed, and I don't know if anything back home has changed, but like, I see myself going back home and feeling that way, like, I don't know, it's, it's a strange feeling. It's like, well, I'm not liking it out here and I miss home, like going home, especially if I don't finish, it's just gonna be really strange. And even if I do finish, it's gonna be really strange. And I'm not sure why, maybe somebody can help me with that. Cause again, I haven't changed and nothing's probably changed back home. But it's like this feeling of having let everyone down um, or having abandoned them for a period of time and to do my own selfish thing. It's, it's, it's weird. I'm trying, I'm trying to pin it down, but it's not a good emotion.